Clomid. Clomid is probably the single most used fertility drug by OBGYNs across the United States. It's a very useful drug. It is overused but has some good clinical applications. What's Clomid? Clomid is a selective estrogen receptor modulator, CIRM. That is the class of drugs that includes drugs such as tamoxifen, which is used in breast cancer. Well, what does it do? It, it's a drug that looks like estrogen, but doesn't function like estrogen. You know, all cells have receptors, and that way they can respond to hormonal signals. So there are cells in your pituitary gland, which is a gland that's up behind your nose. And that pituitary gland is responsible for stimulating your ovaries. It secretes another hormone called FSH, or follicle-stimulating hormone. Now, the pituitary starts to secrete follicle-stimulating hormone, and your ovaries start to respond with eggs, and the estrogen starts to climb, and then the pituitary uh, sees that response. The estrogen binds to the receptors on the pituitary, and then there's what we call down regulation, and the levels of FSH start to drop. What Clomid does is it binds to the receptor. It's sort of, it's like taking a key that's the same manufacturer as the key to your house, but not the right key. So it fits into the lock, but it doesn't turn. And so what ends up happening is your pituitary gland is blinded to the response of the ovaries. So the pituitary gland just continues to secrete FSH. So when you use Clomid, you can trick your pituitary gland into making more FSH. Now, the more advanced uh, fertility drugs are just FSH that we inject into you. So this is an inexpensive way of giving you more FSH and stimulating your ovaries to make more eggs. Now, when I, many years ago, one of my mentors once said to me, eh, Clomid is a dirty drug. And I remember thinking, why? Years later, after a lot of experience, I realized that he was right. Clomid does, is, is a, a difficult drug to use correctly because there are estrogen receptors all over your body. And when you block the response to estrogen all over your body, then you end up with negative side effects. The most important one from a fertility standpoint is the lining of your uterus, your endometrium. So when you use Clomid, you, the lining of your endometrium doesn't respond to the estrogen and it ends up being too thin so that when you do ovulate and you do make an embryo, it doesn't have a safe place to land. So the use of Clomid requires careful surveillance and observation in order to be used correctly. Also, Clomid is not a useful drug in a woman who's ovulating. How does a woman know you've, she's ovulated? And uh, it's a trick question, really, because I'm sure your mind is thinking about, well, you know, you get the urine dipstick or your temperature ch chart, or my doctor tells me with his ultrasound machine. But the truth is there's only one way to know for sure that you've ovulated, and that you get pregnant. But if a woman has regular periods and feels occasionally the twinges of ovulation, and there are other factors, maybe progesterone levels later in the pregnancy, and and the temperature, and the dip, uh, urine, dip. all that information is there, and we presume that the woman is ovulating, guess what? Clomid actually lowers the pregnancy rate. Well, well, well designed study published years ago. So you have to be careful with the use of Clomid. However, in the right patient population, that is people who are not ovulating, it can save them a lot of time and a lot of money and be extremely successful.